The coverage of the State of the State address continues tonight. The governor will introduce a multi-billion dollar spending plan tonight with lots of information in it. WPRI.com reporter Ted Nisi is live now with what Rhode Islander should be watching for. With nearly $9 billion in spending being proposed tonight, there's no way to break down every nook and cranny of the budget before it comes out. But there are a few things Rhode Islanders should know before we hear the speech tonight. First off, that $50 million deficit that Perry Russom mentioned there is much more manageable compared with recent years when Rhode Island was running deficits in the hundreds of millions of dollars. And that's because as the state's economy has been improving, tax revenue has been coming in higher too. Second, if you want to know where the money will be invested on economic development, take a look at that high-profile report by the Washington-based Brookings Institution that came out last month. Governor Raimondo signaled she is going to incorporate a number of that report's recommendations for high-wage jobs in Rhode Island into tonight's budget. And third, look for a big new tax cut for businesses on an employment insurance. I've heard in recent days that one of Raimondo's signature initiatives in this budget is going to be a cut in the unemployment tax rate for all businesses, and that, of course, would be money right to their bottom lines, and we'll be looking for the details on that. The other thing to keep in mind is that Governor Raimondo obviously had a lot of success in winning support for her initiatives in last year's budget. You might remember that it actually passed the House of Representatives unanimously. So I would be looking less for any major shift in direction tonight than a continuation of the types of priorities she's put forward in the past. Live at the State House, I'm Ted Nisi, Eyewitness News.